I feel like there's something behind me. I know, me too. Hi, we're back. It's us again, dad and daughter. So we are on our way up to Helen Hunt Falls. Um, driving through the city, it takes about 20, 30 minutes to get up there. So um, we just figured we would kind of record like a pre, uh, pre thing, pre video to kind of talk about um, this place and where we're going and the back history a little bit. Uh, so I'm not really going to talk too much about the actual back history until we get up there. Um, but I do want to explain that there is a lot of old tales, I guess you would say, or uh, stories that people talk about about this place. So the name of the place is Helen Hunt Falls. Uh, it is located just west of Colorado Springs. Um, when I was younger, we used to go up there. And the story was is that some kids in the late 1800s, early 1900s, uh, before they put up the, the iron gates and things like that up there, um, some kids had fallen down that waterfall. That's the story. Um, so kind of like an old wives tale, you know, people have little stories and things or legends. So uh, the legend is, is that some kids fell down and hurt themselves, died. Um, and I guess a couple of people that had built the wrought iron gates up there could have possibly slipped as well. Um, we tried to look up the information, couldn't really find anything. So uh, not really sure if it's true or not. If it is, it's probably too old for anything to be written down. So we're headed up there now and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. So we decided to add a little bit more footage in here. This is the iconic Broadmoor Hotel. I don't know how well you can see it, but... Not at all. You can't see anything we're today. We're going to get out of the car in a minute to show you what it looks like because it's pretty cool. Wait. That's not an entrance, Dad. <laughs> no, I was going to try to park over to the side and get out. Oh, look at the pretty trees. Okay. And They're not going to let, let us in. in because we look like hobos. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, yeah, you're not safe. <laughs> So for people that don't know, this is like the super rich part of town. So rich. There's movie stars that have stayed here. Uh, I'm pretty and sure the president. Movie stars that live over here. The president has stayed here. A lot of different presidents. Get the concierge. Yeah. I'm very fancy. Crappy. Okay, hello everybody. <laughs> so, we are back at Helen Hunt. Um, this is the sign here. There's a human. Yeah, I know. Oh, so, really Helen cool. Hunt Falls is named for Helen Hunt Jackson, a noted poet, travel writer, novelist, and American Indian rights activist. Her earliest works were often published anonymously and later under the pen name H.H. She was a friend and peer of many on the most important literally or literary figures of her day, including Emily Dickinson, Ralph Waldo Emerson, and Harriet Beecher Stowe. Her novel Ramona dram dramatizes the mistreatment of American Indians in Southern California. It has been printed several hundred times over the years. It was then adapted as a play that has been performed annually since 1923 in Hemet, California. Jackson moved to the young community of Colorado Springs in 1873. She, she loved North Cheyenne Canyon and visited here often. <clears throat> in accordance with her wishes, she was buried not far from here in 1885. Her grave became such a popular tourist destination that the family later decided to move her remains to Evergreen Cemetery. So that is the history, and that is a picture of her. I know it's probably hard to see out here. Yeah, you can't really see it. Um, and that is the... Uh -huh. Watch out. Uh. <laughs> so that's the path up there, if you can see it. It's kind of like goes in the bushes a little bit. So we are going to walk through there. Oh, we are. 
right. We're probably not gonna go to the top just because it's very icy. And dark. And super dark and can't see anything. And there is definitely mountain lions and things up here. So we're gonna be careful while we're doing this. Um, and it's starting to be spring again, but- oh, look, the fall is frozen. You can see the waterfall right here. It's completely frozen. It is completely frozen and there's only that little hole right there where the water's coming out. So this waterfall is massive. I mean, it goes all the way to the top of the mountain. So um, yeah, maybe one day when it's light out here, we'll actually go all the way to the top and show you guys what it looks like. And when the water's not frozen. Yeah. Okay, what does it say? So yeah, I here's the- may exist ahead. What does it say? Yeah, Nose I see beers. conditions may exist ahead. <laughs> put that sticker <laughs> Nose, on beers, tents, and blunts. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds nice. <laughs> but does it? <laughs> Welcome to Colorado. All right. It's really dangerous. Keep off rocks. So the rocks tend to get slippery. That's what the reason for that sign is for. Oh look, it's like a mini little creek. Crack. Dude, this is so creepy. Bro, look at those trees. <laughs> don't freak out I'm freaking out okay so there's like a rock wall here and you can oh. what? okay come on alright so you can see that wall that rock wall goes up pretty far then there's a little bridge right there. So we are going to walk up the steps. Hang on. There we go. I feel like there's something behind me. I know, me too. Down at night because it freezes. And I guess we're kind of breaking the rules a little. Yeah, All right, hang on a second. Uh, yeah, no, there's no gates, but, well, down the, oh. oh, down at the bottom. Dad. Oh, it's not that bad. Look, if we just go on the corner right here. You just got to be careful not to step on the ice. Can you, you got, can you see down there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is not very Oh, wow. All right, so. I know you guys won't be able to see a whole heck of a lot, but we're at the top of the rock wall here, and that is looking down. And my car is over there. So, this is what it looks like up here. I'm gonna get away from the edge because I'm clumsy. And yeah. Let's not play with that. Yeah, we don't, <laughs> we don't need any more people falling off of the waterfall up here because then I'll come back and hold it wow look I know you guys can't see how how light it is out here but it's actually almost a full moon so it's very easy to kind of see where you're going out here without any lights and we have the snow too imagine how cold that water is so there's the waterfall hey if you want to practice your Norwegian Part of it. ice bath <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. All right, yep. So, like I said, we probably won't go up too much further than this because it gets really treacherous up there. That whole path is all ice and snow. But you see right here, slippery rocks, please stay on this trail. And the whole trail is just nothing but snow and ice. So, partly because I have my dear daughter here with me, and I don't want her to get hurt. <laughs> We're probably not going to go up there. But that this trail goes... Uh, you guys probably can't see it on the camera, but... It goes so far up there. I've actually been to the top. How far up is it? And go? it's pretty creepy. What? How far up is it? Go? Oh, it goes... I think the whole trail is a mile and a half to two miles. But the whole thing is up. All, all of it is all uphill. To the very, very top. So, yeah, and you can kind of, you can kind of see the trees right here. It's just so dark. 
the cliff and it's so dark there's no lights up here no security and this is definitely a teenager hangout so Tell you what, it's definitely crisp yeah it's cold up here Remember what I said when I left? Yeah. I'm gonna wear some shorts. <laughs> Thank God I didn't do that, huh? So yeah, it is. It is a nice night out, though. It's very cold, but very you nice know night. I see why people think it's haunted. Why? Because of how creepy it is when you're coming up the trail, and just because of the way that the trees are, it feels like someone's following you. Yeah. But on top of that. Yeah. Did you feel that when we were coming up here? We were coming up the steps over here where the stone wall is, and it felt like someone was following us up the up the back. And I was I was looking in front of me to pay attention to where I was going, and I I felt that feeling like someone was behind me and they were about to grab me. And I turned around and there was no one there. It's also the paranoia though, because you're well, paranoid as well, here's the other thing to remember too: when you get around waterfalls, um, the ambient noise of the water makes you. Uh, hear voices because your brain is trying to make sense of what it hears so always kind of remember that if you're anywhere around a waterfall um, sometimes it can make you hear auditory things that aren't there which so, crazy is a lot of things that people say are haunted here are waterfalls look at how deep that ravine is it's the crevice that is a long drop it's a crevice see I feel someone behind me right now I know I feel fine I'm freaking out. Nope, but that looks like a UFO. Look, 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 hurry. It's moving fast, look at it. Whoa. Should we blink our lights at it? No, stop. You're going to call them. Come get us. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they don't want us. They don't like us. I'll break their UFO. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <so. laughs> We're having an encounter with a female animal. So I'm wondering why all these rocks are just randomly sitting here. What is this about? I think it's just the path. Oh, that looks like granite. That is granite. Yeah, it's granite. Oh, look at that. Hold your light right there. Don't move. You can kind of see how it's all shiny. Look at that. You have to be at the right angle. No, they can see it. How can you see it? It's like sparkly. I don't know why there's this That's yellow crazy. rim on this flashlight. It's a little bit I don't know. I think that looks like a super old flashlight. I thought there was a person standing down there. Where? Down at the bottom. Look. Don't say. That. Look. Uh huh. So pretty. The stars are so beautiful. Yeah. Do you see what they're doing? Yes. Do you hear music? I just heard music. That is music. It's coming from right up here, dude. Yeah, I creeped out. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <You> got it. <laughs> okay, careful, 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 yeah. dude. Please be careful. Okay, back down the treacherous Family. steps here. Oh, my goodness. You got it. Because your feet are way bigger than I'm sidestepping it. Yeah, we don't need me to fall. We all know ice doesn't like me. We are mortal. We're mortal enemies. Me and ice. Ice doesn't like me and I don't like it. Here we go. I got it. I got it. I'm almost to the bottom. Famous last words. Hi. Hey, everybody. We're on a different camera now, so... Uh, just wanted to say sorry about the it being so dark out here. There wasn't there was no real way to see what we were doing. So um, we tried to kind of catalog what we heard, what we saw. Uh, going just coming up here in in the mountains, especially in this area, tends to be super creepy. There's um, a guy out of his car. Where? Anyway, uh, I'm not worried about him. Um, so it tends to be super creepy just coming up here and, and uh, walking up the trail and, and being in this general area. One, you have a lot of people that come over here and they like to go up in the trails and sit there and do their own thing. So it could get kind of creepy up here. Um, so 
one of the things that we did feel coming up here was walking up the steps next to that uh, brick wall. You can, uh, it, it felt like someone was going to grab me. I was just walking and I was trying to keep my, I had a, a headlight uh, on my head, a forehead light. And I was trying to keep it straight. And then I just felt that, that energy behind me like someone was going to grab me. Like trying to reach out and touch me. And I, I turned around and there was that. no one there. I always feel that no matter where we go, even if it's scary or not. I'm very paranoid. <laughs> she's she's so, a scary cat. Yeah. So, so yeah, uh, I did feel that. And then when we got to the top, uh, I heard some auditory stuff. But again, that could just be because of the waterfall. Um, yeah, but, you you heard yeah. Yeah, so I heard music. When we got up there to the area where we were standing, um, where, where I showed down at the at the waterfall. Up on the bridge at the top. Yeah, at the bridge at the top up there or in that, that one plateau. Um, I heard music. I heard somebody playing music. And there's no one close enough to where we are where we would hear music like that. So um, not really sure where the music was coming from or if I was just hearing things because of the waterfall. But uh, but yeah, so it was, it was kind of creepy. It was pretty and cool. we had to be careful because the stairs were super icy and uh, yeah, like I said before in the video, we didn't go all the way up because it was just it was it was too icy, too and much snow, cold. too icy, and just way too dark. Cold, and then I think we got we got lights, but we don't have enough lights to be able to see what we're doing. So yeah, um, I think we were already creeped out enough. Yeah. With the music, yeah. being up here by yourself is creepy, and we don't have a signal. Yeah, my phone nor her phone. her phone has a signal so uh you know just i i just want to play it smart then. and be careful so especially having her with me can you still call 911 yeah um wait no you can't no no you can't oh that would be cool if they made it that but if you really don't have a signal you can still call 911 yeah so so i hope you guys liked it um like share subscribe uh the next one that we're gonna do we're gonna try to do in the daytime Yes. Um, I think it'll be a lot better so everybody can kind of see what we're doing. Our cameras right now, we're just using our phones, so they don't really do too well at night. No. Um, so we're going to try to shoot somewhere that either has a lot of light or is in the daytime for the next one. So uh, stay tuned for the next one. I have so many places in mind for us to go to just here in Colorado. Um, so basically, we're going to do a Colorado tour. When these videos start getting bigger, then uh, we're going to start jumping over into other states. So... Um, we have other states next to us that have some really cool places too. So uh, keep coming back, like, share, subscribe, um, and go over to Instagram. It's at uh, rocky.mountain.dnd is our Instagram handle. Add us over there too because we're going to be adding some new stuff tonight. So uh, also the Patreon, like I had um, mentioned earlier, uh, if you get a chance, go over to Patreon, subscribe to my Patreon as well. Um, I hope to see you guys again. You're going to see lots of stuff from us. Uh, we're going to try to do this every night, although I do work a regular job, so there may be a gap in between when we put up the next video. But uh, stay tuned. We'll see you back. Bye. Bye.